travel a long distance on a boat. Um, it gives you a completely different perspective. It gives you a strong impression of how small you are on the planet and how vulnerable you are. Io ricordo ancora con un certo tipo di brezza e rumore della mia bacchetta di legno che accarezzava le onde. Se una barca si muove nell'elemento eh, fa dei rumori, ma è musica, eh. what you want on a boat. It's just you and the sea, you and the sky and the wind. You are really near to the element and it makes it feel stronger. Eh, me la ricordo sì, la prima volta che sono uscito in barca, ma ero un bambino, avevo credo sei anni. You know, when you're eight years old, your whole life is you do what you're told to do. But on the boat, I was in charge of my own destiny. What I recall is I really enjoyed the sense of independence that I had once I was in that boat by myself. L'emozione fu, fu enorme, fu meravigliosa perché appunto finalmente io da solo su una barca riuscivo a, a governare il vento e il mare. Quando ero bambino il fatto di poter leggere il mare in una certa maniera mi ha dato le, le prime sensazioni insomma di andare in barca vera. It was very involving, it was for me like an adventure to be there. I loved to be alone on a small boat. After that, I would dream all the time to be alone on a boat. To be steering at night under the stars and under the moonshine. It's a very strong feeling to be alone on your boat. The wind is blowing and you are thinking everybody's sleeping now, everybody's in bed and you are enjoying to look at the moon, to look at the sky and everything looks so different. During the night I often think about my friends, my family and I think they cannot imagine how nice it is to be here now. Uh, there's a lot of danger out there. Icebergs and whales, strong storms and 10, 12 meter waves. I mean, all kinds of conditions. What I didn't know was how dangerous Mother Nature can be and how quickly things can change. There's also a bit of fear, I have to admit, to wrong. Once you are inside, you know that you have to cross it. You cannot say, no, I stop it. You have to go through it. Non devi solo lavorare con i tuoi diritti, ma devi lavorare anche con quelli delle persone che c'è attorno. L'organizzazione a bordo e, e le regole precise, il fatto che ci sia una, anche una gerarchia diventa fondamentale. Devi essere capace eh, di essere singolo 
di lavorare con gli altri e poi tornare su. What gives it sanity is when you prepare and you have a good plan and you execute that plan, then it's then we call that winning. Poi nasce questo momento molto particolare che giocare con la, la tua capacità e voler assolutamente battere gli altri. <laughs> Maybe persisting in a very dangerous situation is foolish. But the difference between insanity and winning is very small. Racing around the world taught me a lot, and so I wanted to share that with my children. I wanted to try to find a way to give them that sense of accomplishment and therefore self-confidence. You know, I, I think I've been, I've had incredible great fortune and great life experiences through sailing, so I've been blessed to have all those experiences, but honestly, Right now, the experiences I've shared with my children through sailing are the richest for me. I'm very blessed to have them and I'm looking forward to creating more.